Hey all you Splinterheads, welcome back. Bronze Dragon here, providing a uh, first week that land has been out update. Today marks um, the seventh day, land has been out for a full seven days now. And I wanted to do a few things in this video. First of all, I wanted to go ahead and do a claim. And um, I was going to do that off camera, but the second thing I really want to do is I want to switch some buildings around on four of my plots. During this week, uh, it's kind of been this evolution of tweaking here and there. So I haven't made any major changes other than buying that 11th plot. However, I have been making some minute changes, changing a card here, changing a card there. I'm just trying to tweak what I have without spending a whole bunch of extra money. Okay. So, and in the spirit of that, that is the, the changes I'm going to be making now after directly after I make the harvest. So one of the takeaways I've learned over the last week is before you make any changes to a land plot, go ahead and do a claim on that and time your changes with uh, the time in the day uh, when you're going to do claims. Maybe it's easy. Maybe you're doing hourly claims. Uh, that takes a lot of attention, but you can you can make changes on the fly. I, I'm, I've been making my claims once per day. And oh, you want to uh, go ahead and instead of doing the claim all you can go into your individual plots and if you're going to make a change on that plot go ahead and do your claim on that plot and then make the change you want to and then go ahead and address the rest of the plots that you have in that region um, and what that does is instead of uh, well let's just say um, I ran into the error where if you do a, a claim and you um, or you go to make a change and that land is forced into an auto claim you lose your roll for totem fragments so that's why you want to go ahead and do your claim up front and the error code uh, the the little not code but message will pop up and tell you that I just wanted to reiterate that so that's the reason we're going to do that uh, I do want to change um, basically some plots around that I'm mining SPS on and swapping them for grain plots and very incremental in my region 114 it's only going to be a matter of 5% but I feel after about 20 days if the math holds out uh, maybe less um, that it should pay off and um, I'm getting into more of an equilibrium where I'm not having this huge amount of extra grain and I'm drawing in as much SPS as, as I can and of course I'm doing research on the other plot but it's a matter of a 5% land versus a 10% land and I know a lot of people are dumping those 5% lands but I picked one up just because um, I thought that in 2.0 it, it may be useful it may produce something that uh, I bought a Tundra okay so uh, yes right up front during 1.5 I'm making less on it okay and that's why a lot of people are dumping them um, but going forward in 2.0 um, and as we see more of the 2.0 white paper I'm hoping that uh, you know it pays some dividends I, I don't think that Matt would say oh you know we're gonna give uh, 5% lands and the only bo the only thing those are really useful for are um, for being able to use more different types of cards on them and having three different types of cards to use on them instead of two um, I feel that he said that uh, you know everything produced by these lands is going to fit in somewhere and I did want to take a look at uh, the the flow chart he released this week uh, for the 2.0 white paper but I feel that's a whole subject for another video so let's go ahead and get into this but I wanted to explain these basic changes I'm making and then at the end of the video um, after I've done these claims I will show you basically what I've earned off of uh, my claims in the first week now the amount of SPS being drawn in is going down gradually um, as more people come online but that was expected right so and it will go down over time so in, until you know uh, 2.0 if if uh, if it ends up stopping it'll completely stop so okay so let's go ahead and the first thing I want to go ahead and do is pull up my spreadsheet my handy dandy spreadsheet and we're going to go into this plot um, 114-05-30 and I'm going to go ahead and do a harvest pay my grain 
excuse my voice, I'm borderline kind of trying not to get sick and I've not been feeling 100% today. So let's pull up the calculator. This plot made uh, almost 5,500 grain today minus the tax of 549.824, so 10%. So this grain uh, or this uh, this plot netted uh, 4,948 uh, grain today. Okay, back now. Let's go ahead and while we're here, go ahead and go into manage and then change, confirm, and I want to change over to a shard mine. And it says uh, it's gonna charge me 50 time crystals if I want to complete it um, automatically the, comp the estimated time remaining until construction this work site is complete and its workers begin so it's one day so let's go ahead and build I had figured it was going to be one day because that's what they said okay so we've got 24 hour tick down uh, up here the building has started uh, so if you change your buildings, you will have to either incur some shard fee or um, a day of being down. Uh, but I figured that since uh, it has been discussed. So the next thing I want to do is I want to go into this. Um, and this SPS mine, I'm going to switch to grain. So let's go ahead and do a harvest here. and bring up the calculator. This plot made 5.953 SPS today minus the tax of 0.595 and that equals a net of 5.358. Okay. Once again, back, let's manage, let's change this, confirm, change this to a grain farm, and build. So basically, I'm just swapping those. And once they get swapped, it's going to be a matter of plus 5% to my SPS production. I know, it's minute, but I think what this will come down to is a matter of just tweaking your lands until you can get the best out of them. Um, unless you're going to go ahead and invest in much better cards or um, better totems or what have you. Okay, so let's go back. That is done. Those two will be complete tomorrow at this time. Now let's go ahead and do the rest of the harvest. And the rest of the harvest, claim grain. My other plot, which was an epic plot, Farming grain harvested uh, 7,520.04 minus the tax of 752.004. So a net of 6,768 off of that epic plot. Farming grain with approximately 10,000 um, production points. Okay, back. And on my research plot, which is a rare uh, research plot with approximately 1,200, no, 12,500 production points, I'm yielding about 75 research a day, 74.439 minus 7.444, so a net of 66, almost 67 research points per day.
I'm just throwing the numbers out there, not to bore you, but to kind of give you a baseline comparison. If you're thinking about, uh, in this case, on most of my lands, um, I have gold foil commons maxed out in each slot. In this particular one, I threw in a max level um, rare beta. So that bumped it up a little bit. Okay, so we're done with that. Um, region let's pop over to the other region we're going to do something similar here um, i'm going to switch out a common sp a, a common plot that has sps on it no totem and i'm going to switch it for a rare um, so i'm going to switch that sps uh, to a rare plot and it's going to be a matter of about 20 percent percentage difference so it's going to boost my SPS a little bit but I am running with a, a, a decent amount of extra grain production per day on this particular plot so I think I'll be fine so let's do the similar uh, exercise here and let's go into this plot itself 06 just making sure I have it listed correctly okay so we're going to go ahead and do a harvest pay the grain Now this is a plot with, once again, approximately 10,000 production points on it. No totem though. It has zero bonus to this production plot. 5.677 minus 0.568 equals uh, just over five SPS produced on this land today. Let's go back. Okay, so it's harvested. Let's go ahead and manage this. And we are going to change this to a grain farm. And once again, there will be a 24 hour. So my, my numbers are gonna be a little bit skewed tomorrow, but after that, everything should be back to normal and a little bit better than what I started out with. So let's go ahead and go down here and do the same type of thing. Um, now this is a rare plot. Let's go ahead and do the harvest on this. Once again, a rare plot with approximately 10,000 production points and a 10% totem on it. 6,021.312 uh, minus the tax. 602.131 equals about 5,400 grain okay let's go back and do the same thing here but in opposite and change this over to a shard mine okay now we can go back and do the rest of the harvest on the rest of the plots. Still haven't seen any totem fragments drop. I keep hoping one will drop just so I can capture it on video. Okay, so the rest of my plots uh, yielded about just over 17,000. Grain minus the tax of 1700 so um, it netted about 15,300 okay we'll go back research now this research plot is a common magic and it's staked out once again about 10,000 production points and it has a 10% totem on it and it looks like it is getting uh, just over 50 uh, research a day. So it's 52.735 minus the tax of 5.274 yields 47.46. Okay, and our final claim for this evening, claiming SPS. 
and this will be for the two plots of land that are dedicated I have dedicated in this uh, region to farming or mining SPS. Once again, approximately 10,000 production points each with a totem on each. Well, one of them didn't have a totem. That's the one we just worked with, but one of them did. So we're looking at 7.591 minus 0.759 with a yield of 6.832. Okay. Okay. So that exercise is complete. And the reason I did that was I wanted to go through the claim and I wanted to do to go through the building change process um, just to document it in case people had questions because I had seen some people uh, asking about it. Okay. After a few minutes and tabulations, by the way, I really need to put some formulas on my spreadsheet to prevent having to do this manually. Just another thing on my list to do and a non-fancy uh, graphic here, um, but I just wanted to get the numbers total for you. Keep in mind these numbers are for 11 plots, mostly spec'd out at between 9,500 and 12,500 with an average about 10,000 uh, production points on each plot. And most of the plots have a plus 10% common totem on them. Okay, so with that said, and these numbers are also after taxes. So I've been keeping track of after taxes. If if you wanted to get the real total that it actually produced, you could add 10% to all this, right? Because the taxes are at 10%, okay? But my grain harvested total was about 200,000, okay? My surplus came out to be 81,000. So that extra there in between almost 120,000, 118,000, something like that, was all used to feed my workers to keep everything going, okay? SPS harvested a little bit over 120. Once again, um, this is on three plots, um, three common plots. Uh, two of them have a plus 10% totem, and the other one was a 5%er land, um, and that's one of the things I changed over. So, um, But also keep in mind, this is going down gradually. We've talked about this. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and the amount of research harvested off of two plots. They're both magic lands, so they have the 100% bonus. One's a common, one's a rare. And uh, that came out to be just a little bit more than 840 research points, and that's for my total. Okay. So I hope this was a benefit to you um, and you got some takeaways from it. Uh, if you like this kind of content and, and would like to keep uh, seeing me do this, please leave a like and subscribe. It does help out. Um, and I do have several other uh, videos I have on the list uh, for this week. Um, I also plan on doing one for the new uh, white paper, Land uh, 2.0 white paper that is dropping in chunks. And I also need to catch up on Golem Overlord topics. So. With that said, this has been Bronze Dragon. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. With the key thing, they're healthy, because I'm trying to be healthy. And uh, I will see you on the flip side.